Okay? Now, do you guys remember that, oh, Judge Ratama Huateng made a judgment. Today, I want, to, I want us to talk about that judgment where he says that the accused, look, accused number one and two, actually their confession was free and voluntarily. I've got a video. Look, I've got a video where he said that, look, where he said it. So we'll talk about that and I'm going to share this video. Uh, just give me a moment, right? Based on what has transpired in court, have you been convinced? Are you convinced that we've got the right people? Are you convinced that these people are the ones who took the life of Sansa Mayu? Are you convinced that because once you say they 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 these people confessed, you are simply saying these are the right people. They know everything. Are you convinced, based on the evidence that has transpired in court, are you convinced that we've got the right people? Two, the other interesting part about this thing is speaking about you being convinced. There's this part that is that I find it very interesting. I have to ask you. Based on the evidence that has transpired in court so far, are you convinced that these people really confessed without being coerced? Or they were not under duress when they confessed? Tell me, because mm, I don't think so. I, I, don't, I, I, I really don't think that these people really uh, voluntarily confessed. And I'm going to tell you why I'm saying that. But take a look at the judgment from Judge Ratama Kotling on that uh, aspect here. Right. Consequently, after going through all that evidence carefully, this court has reached the following conclusion. One, it rules that the confessions made, the confession made by accused number one was made freely and voluntarily without any coercion when accused number one was in his firm, sound, and sober senses. Two, the confession made by accused number two in respect of the said confession being taken by Mrs. Ronje, the magistrate, the court rules that it was made freely and voluntarily without any coercion when accused number two was in his full and sober senses. And also the confession made before Colonel Rapudi was also made by accused number one, two. Freely and voluntarily without any coercion when he was in his sound and sober senses. And also the pointing outs made by accused number two before Colonel Khadebe were also made freely and voluntarily without any coercion when accused number two was in his full and sober senses. Okay, that is the ruling. Yes, Mr. Okay, now let's proceed then. Um, in light of everything that have just happened, uh, in light of everything that have just transpired in the Zanzo Mayo case, do you really believe that these people confessed? And here's the first question. Accused number one was, oh, he, like at some point, they look like, when they said, when they arrested him, it was for the drugs, right? So he confessed. He confessed. He confessed for all these things, but he doesn't confess on the drugs. He confessed to a very serious crime of taking the, the, the life of Sansa Meiwa, but he doesn't confess to a minor, it's small, it's relatively small in comparison. If you look at um, the taking of Sansa Meiwa versus the, 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 look at the selling of drugs on the street, relatively selling drugs on the street is small. 
So he confessed to a very serious crime, but he leaves this minor crime. And he, here's the thing, he's arrested for the drugs, but he confessed for the Sons of Mayweather case. And you still want to argue with me and say it was free and voluntarily. I don't know. Really, I don't know. You have to, you'll, you'll have to convince me otherwise. Do I need to convince you otherwise to look or otherwise? I think I need to do so. Well, let me convince you again. Guys, please help this channel to get to 60,000 subscribers. And we can. All we need is less than 2,600 and something subscribers. Please tell your people to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay as we proceed so these people confessed they don't confess to the other crimes if it is really if the confessions were not under duress, but they don't confess to the other crimes. <laughs> yeah, like make it make sense to me because right now this does not make sense to me. They confess to all the other crimes, but they don't confess to the simplest crime ever. Uh, accused number two was arrested, so they say, for the Nongoma case. He's arrested for Nong Nongoma case, then he confessed for the Senzo Meiwa case. Nothing, no confession about the, the Nongoma case. Nothing, nothing. He's arrested for this, he confessed for that. Wait! A hitman who is so tata zelling that he gets arrested by the police, he starts talking. But you are profiling a, an inkabi. Hey, when something is not made sure here. I will keep telling you. Something is not made sure here. And you uh, make it make sense to me because right now, something is not making sure to me. You know, it is true when they say, People were in prison. It's not that all of those people committed crime. But it's because a court found them guilty. And being found guilty by the court doesn't mean you are guilty for look, the crime you are, it has been alleged that you have committed. And here's an example. Uh, you must go and listen to a podcast. Or oh, there was a... Uh, look, under Ukos FM, there was... Um, a small, what's called what slot there. Uh, the name of that slot, it was called Nipap Kebeng. There was a guy who was interviewed there, ex convict, who got arrested, who was sentenced to, was it 21 years? He served, I think, as a 21 or above that, I'm not sure, but one thing I know for a fact that I think he served around. 12 years, and then it was then discovered that he never committed the crime. It was a rape crime, by the way. It was found after 11 to 12 years, I'm not sure, it was found that he never committed that crime. So just because a person is found guilty by the court doesn't necessarily mean the person is guilty. I want, I want, I want, to, I want to tell you that. Just because a court or 
a court of law, a criminal court, declared a person a criminal, doesn't necessarily mean that person is a criminal. I know. People are easy. I'm, I'm, I, I need to repeat this so it can sink in. Just because a criminal court or a criminal look, a person in a criminal case was found guilty by a court doesn't necessarily mean that that person is guilty. It only means the court says that person is guilty. Maybe let's let me say this based on the evidence that has been presented before us in court. I've never found even a single evidence that suggests otherwise. Forgive me. I've never found an evidence that says these people killed Usenzo Meiwa. Forgive me. So far, nothing, nothing, nothing concrete has ever been presented before me. So, do I therefore believe that these are the right people, as they say? I don't know. I don't think I believe that these are the right people. Not me. What do I believe? I believe that we've got the right people. I mean, the right people are still walking free on the street. And the wrong people are arrested in court. Tried before us. But it's not that these people are the right people. 